Hello everybody. I hope you're all fit and healthy and well out there. I'm just uh, on a bike ride. I, uh, it's, uh, what's today? It's November the 2nd. It's cold, it's damp, it's very foggy. I'm riding from my sister's home in Thiel back to my home in Thatcham. And as you can see, this is the British countryside in the autumn. <laughs> as you can see, well, as you can't see probably, there's not much to see because it's incredibly foggy. But um, I absolutely love the British countryside in the autumn. Absolutely beautiful. Some people hate the, the cold and the damp and the fog and the stuff and the, you know, the grass is all dewy and cobwebs are all shiny white. I love it. I love this time of year. Um, autumn and spring are probably my favourite times in Britain. Just love it. Um, anyway. This is just a sort of brief, let's have a little bit of a walk. This is just a brief video, just thought I'd pull over and have a little bit of a chat. Um, thank you once again for all your wonderful support. My last two videos, obviously, I understand that my last, my previous two videos may be a little bit boring and a bit dull for some people, because obviously I was talking about my mental health state. Um, I'm still, obviously, nothing's really changed in how I feel other than, um, you know, I made a decision, a very firm decision that, that however bad I feel, I am going to get up and ride my bike and walk and continue to look after my body and my physical health because, well, mental health too. I mean, a lot of people don't realise that what you eat, what you drink and the movement that you make with your body has a massive effect on, on your brain. Obviously, um, my garment obviously what I eat and drink and how I move is not going to cure my mental health problems because you know it, it's not that kind of problem you can alleviate depression to a certain extent with those things but not a dissociative disorder it's you know things are stuck in my head that need to come out and you can't do that with food and exercise but you know I made a post um, on my Instagram feed if you haven't, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please um, take a look. You might find photographs of all sorts, pens, ink, veganism, minimalism, bike rides, you know, you name it. It's there, cats doing funny things, all sorts of things. Anyway, I digress. Um, I made a post on my Instagram feed simply saying that, you know, I have a mental illness, but I'm also... I also ride my bike and I'm also a vegan and I'm also a minimalist and I also have a nerdy um, geeky passion for fountain pens and bottled ink and I I'm, I consider myself to be an intelligent creative kind generous person and I have brown hair and I have blue eyes and I'm five feet eight and I ride my bike you know all of those things that I've just mentioned, all of them, when you add them all together, they are what make me up. You know, they're what make me what I am and who I am. And my mental illness is just a very, very small part of that. And something that I'm learning and something that I'm telling myself over and over again, it's just a little brook down there. It's just so beautiful out here right now. I'm probably about a mile from home and this is Obviously, you might, you'd be able to see a bit better. Anyway, um, all of those things that I just mentioned, the mental illness and everything else, they're all just a part of what I am. And, and my mental illness is not who I am. It's a, it's a tiny percentage. You know, if you added up all the things you are, my mental illness probably makes up 5% of all the things that make me, make me mark, make me what I am. And the thing that I'm learning and I'm learning from a lot of people on YouTube. Um, I, I should just mention, actually, uh, just give a mention to Jill at Jillicious Journey. If you don't subscribe to her YouTube channel and give her channel a look, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box below and a link on the screen to her channel. She's a G German lady. I think she's 20, 21, not 100% certain. But um, she's she makes some really amazing positive videos and she talks about how you know, the things that you are just make up parts of what you are and, and she's very positive. She's had a lot of problems in her life. I won't go into details 
talking about Jill's problems because, you know, she might not like me to, although she's very open and very honest on her channel about her problems, so I'm sure she wouldn't mind. But yeah, check her channel out, Jillicious Journey. And that lady's taught me a lot. Uh, she's, she may only be in her early 20s, but she's incredibly wise, you know, sort of wise beyond her years, really. Um, taught me a lot of, of sort of techniques on positivity and thinking positive and you know, acting positively, and, and as I said, my mental illness is just a part of what I am. It makes up a very small percentage of what I am, um, and I'm not going to let it defeat me, because, you know, if something is just a part of what you are, then, you know, you, you can't let it sort of rule your whole life, and whilst it is very, very difficult, my mental illness is making my life almost impossible to live my life with any real quality you know I, I don't socialize don't have friends don't have relationships um, I struggle to communicate with people in any kind of face-to-face -face. I mean some people have left comments on my mental health videos to, saying you know I'd like to uh, have a chat with you on Skype or stuff like that and as soon as somebody says that even Skype you know even though they're not in the same room I sort of get nervous just talking to somebody, even on a computer screen, face to face, kind of brings a certain amount of fear. But um, it's not going to beat me. I'm determined it's not going to beat me. I know it won't beat me because I'm getting some good help. I have to say, the people who are helping me out, um, my doctor, the psychiatrist who I go to see, I've also got a gentleman who comes to my home once a week, once a fortnight, um, and he's talking to me about how my brain works and stuff, so... He's helping me a lot. It's not going to beat me, and in six months from now, I'm going to be better than I ever, ever have been because they're going to, they're going to eradicate the anxiety because that's the key. The key to my dissociative disorder is the anxiety. If I get rid of the anxiety, then I can start going out and socialising. And if I start to go out and socialise and I meet people and I make friends, then my brain will stop trying to find companionship you know, internally, because that's what my dissociative disorder is. It's my brain trying to find me some companionship, some friendship, some company, because I don't have any, because I don't go out and I don't socialise with my anxieties and things. So they're going to get rid of the anxiety. That's going to make me better. So I know I'm going to get better. I know I'm going to be better than I ever was. It's just kind of, I've just got to get over the hump, I guess, you know. I guess it's like riding a bike up a hill, you know. There comes a point where you go up a steady climb and it's hard work and then suddenly the uh, the hill suddenly becomes much steeper. And, and that's the hump, you know, you've got to just, if you find you've got troubles in your life, you've just got to keep pedalling, haven't you? You've just got to keep pedalling and pedalling until you reach the top of that hump. And then once you're over the hump, you know, you, you, you start to... Uh, you can start to cycle downhill and everything's easier then. You're sort of freewheeling, so... It might sound like a bit of an odd analogy, but seeing as I'm on my bike, it's just came to my mind. You know, if you're cycling uphill, you just got to keep going, keep pedalling. You know, who was it that said... Uh, somebody said, um, once, if you're going through hell, just keep going. Um, and that's true, you know, if you're going through hell and you stop, well, you're going to stay in hell forever, right? But if you're going through hell and you just keep going, then eventually you're going to come out the other end. So, so anyway, I thought I'd just um, show you a little bit of the English countryside in the autumn. I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, despite all my problems, I feel I'm actually very, very grateful for the fact that I'm here doing this. It's Monday morning. The only thing that's kind of bringing me down is that... Uh, as somebody who's always worked incredibly hard to earn my money and pay my bills, I kind of feel bad that everybody's going to work today and I'm out here trying to sort of enjoy myself. Um, I stayed overnight at my sister's. My sister got up at seven o'clock and went to work and I sort of felt, you know, that made me feel a bit shitty because uh, everyone else is going off to work and I'm not. <laughs> Um, but, you know, at the moment it's just not possible for me and everybody understands that, or at least I hope they do. I do feel very sort of, there's a lot, um, a lot of negativity in this country about people 
who don't work and who claim benefits and stuff and despite the fact that I'm not working because I'm ill I do feel you know I do feel quite bad about people think that that's that's who I am you know I'm not working and I'm not paying my way but anyway I'm going to end it there because it's gone on a bit too long I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the autumn countryside here in Britain and um, thank you for all your wonderful support I made a video recently about how you can help me by clicking on the ads at the start of my videos and so many people have responded by saying they're going to do that to help me financially so that is wonderful thank you so much I owe each and every one of you a great debt and um, I just want you all to know that it's not just my psychiatrist and my home helper who's helping me through these tough times it's all of you all of you who watch my videos every time I look at my analytics on YouTube and I see views on my videos it makes me smile every time I get a notification that somebody's left a comment it just makes me smile so keep watching keep commenting um, because it means the world to me thank you and I hope that you're all just happy and healthy and you know if you're feeling down if you're feeling miserable you know grab yourself a big plate or a big bowl of carbohydrates and go for a long walk because walking is something that pretty much anybody can do and it is you know you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds to buy a bike or fancy equipment just put your shoes on put your coat on Go for a walk and you will feel better. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you all again, hopefully, in front of the camera very, very soon.